Hi, I'm Chris Calcup from uh, Focusrite Innovation and here we are at Music Messa uh, 2013 and um, we're here with uh, Gear for Music to have a look, first look at the uh, brand new uh, Base Station 2 synth from uh, Novation. Um, the first thing to say is that we're really, really proud to be able to, uh, to have the, uh, the Base Station 2 here with us at, the, at Messa. Um, it's uh, Novation's 21st birthday this year and we thought we'd celebrate by bringing out um, an old favourite. Um, uh, the Base Station 2 is a reworking, a 21st century reworking of the original uh, Base Station, which was uh, originally uh, built back in uh, 1993. And uh, basically what we've done is we've, uh, we've taken the notion of, uh, of the original Base Station and created um, a fully analogue uh, synth and um, as such, you know, sounding absolutely brilliant. Um, it's based around two oscillators, but we also have a sub-oscillator in there as well, which will give a lot more depth and uh, a bass, you know, earth-shattering bass to your, uh, to your sound creation. Um, so, yeah, so we've got dual oscillators with a sub-oscillator as well. We have a noise generator. Um, this is the mixer section here, so these are all volume controls. We have a noise generator, a ring modulator. But we can also use the external input as well. We have an external jack socket on the back, so we can plug a microphone, guitar, or whatever we want through the unit as well. And that then will be passed on through the filters and into the effects section on the synth. Um, from the filter point of view, uh, we've taken the original um, uh, uh, classic base station filter, um, we've brought that into, uh, into today's uh, world, but also we've added a second filter in there as well, um, and we've called that acid, and effectively we've modelled that um, on a ladder uh, type uh, filter, and, and make some nice squelchy sort of sounds, like the sort of sounds you would find in an old Roland uh, TB303. Um, we've also on the uh, on the filter section here. We've also got an overdrive, so we can actually drive that filter and again just make some really nice nasty sounds with it. On the effects section down here, we've got an, a, a distortion effect uh, and an oscillator filter modulation as well, which effectively is like a sort of a, a, a frequency modulation style effect that we can apply to the sound. Moving over here as well, we're on to the uh, envelopes, and we have two envelopes available to us. We have an amp envelope and a modulation envelope, um, and of course we've got our attack to case sustain and release. But we thought we'd put these onto sliders instead of onto rotary encoders to give it that more classic feel. Uh, two LFOs are available here, and we have different waveforms that we can choose. So we've got triangle, sawtooth, uh, square, and sample and hold as well, which is a really nice, um, uh, nice LFO to be able to play with. Um, above the LFO section, this is our oscillator section as well. And in the oscillator section, we have a choice of four different waveforms. Uh, we have sine wave, triangle, sawtooth and pulse width as well. Obviously, if we set our pulse width setting to zero, in slapping in the center, we have that then basically being a square wave. So effectively, you've got um, you know, a good choice of different oscillators. Um, on this side here, we have our arpeggiator as well. On the arpeggiator side, we have our standard sort of arpeggiation modes. So we have up and down and up, down, and all that sort of thing. Um, we also have a played in arpeggiator where we can actually sort of play a sequence of notes in and they'll arpeggiate from that. But also, we have a, um, a, a little sequencer built into here as well. So we can actually record a little sequence of notes, play that back, and at that point, then we can get nice and hands on. Uh, and, and play around with the sounds. Um, so yeah, so this is it. Base Station Two. Um, as I say, it's the base station of, uh, of, the, of uh, yeah 2013, and we're really, really happy to uh, to be able to have it here. Um, yeah. So in, in terms of um, uh, when it's going to be available, we're looking at um, uh, during the summer. Um, for it to be fully available, and price-wise, it's going to be uh, £399.